So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, you missed a, a, a service uh, within the season of Lent where we acknowledged our differences and the importance of our differences and the need for us to be able to trust the vision of others and to hear the word of God in the voice of another, to experience um, God's presence and God's message is in ways that are perhaps unfamiliar. We acknowledge our struggle with that, um, and somehow how we somehow we, we we need to we get angry, we get frustrated, we we bluster, we double down when we should just be quiet and open our eyes and open our hearts and trust. We heard Paul's word to the church in Corinth, a second Corinthians letter, in which he talks about being made new in Christ and how the past is let go and we are all new. And, and we acknowledge that that would be wonderful, that we would like that, and yet we find it hard to be new sometimes. And then today we heard the story of Balaam and the donkey. Balaam, who is um, called a wicked prophet, he hears the word of God, the God of of Abraham, the God of Israel, and yet he is not of them. He is not in community. He hears that God, but he doesn't really belong. And he is not always on the side of Israel. He is called by tradition a wicked prophet. And we heard his story as he is called to Moab to help them fend off the Israelites as the Israelites find their place in the promised land. Um, and, and God sends a, a, an angel to stop him, an invisible angel, because, well, because Balaam does not, cannot see, but his donkey does. And Balaam will lose his temper with the donkey three times, beat the donkey, and then in this wonderful moment we don't often share in church, the donkey talks. God gives voice to the donkey and says, seriously, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this? And Sure, we, we laughed about the story because there's a lot of funny parts to the story, and yet we also recognize the truth of that story. How we would like to be like Paul, we would like to be new and let go of the past, but the truth is we live betwixt and between. We're much more like Balaam. We, we, we know we're of value. We, we hear the voice of God, and yet sometimes we don't actually feel like we belong. People around us, they question our motives. Uh, we can't always let go of the past because people won't let us, or we don't know how. So we talked about what it's like to be betwixt and between, to be want to be new but not know how to get there. And we talked about the importance of listening to the voices of others, to understanding that people can see things that we don't see and to trust that the beginning of faith, the beginning of reconciliation, the beginning of really experiencing the breadth of God is to let go of our need to hear it our way and to listen anew and to trust. Even though sometimes our trust will be betrayed, even though sometimes we will be let down and we will be disappointed, the real way to a relationship with, with, with all of our siblings, with all of creation, with God, is in learning how to trust even when we cannot see, following a way that's strange. And in that, as we let go of the old way of doing things and we become open to the new way and new ways, then perhaps we too can be made new in Christ. That's what we wonder today, and we did that in the midst of some beautiful music and wonderful people. And yeah, we weren't happy with snow all over the ground, but we were thrilled with the spring that seemed to happen inside of all of us all as we gathered this morning. So we're sorry that we missed you, and we hope that you'll be with us soon. But until we see you, God bless.